Hello. Hi. Welcome to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're doing 01011000, which is binary for X. This one's a pretty easy one to miss. Um, you need to look for a glitching billboard. There's one that I showed the map at the beginning there. It's kind of by that big old Picus stand just outside the toy shop where Chicane's place is. Uh, walk up to that and interact with it, and you will get a point of interest on your map in, uh, I want to say Northern Prague, but I'm lying, it's in Southern Prague. It's in the Hacker Shop, um, I think, is it the Hacker Shop? Uh, anyway, travel to Southern Prague, uh, ride the train, and make your way, uh, follow the marker, and uh, yeah, you'll get around here. There we are. There's a door that you'll need to hack on the front, or of course you can use a multi-tool, and then head into the basement with the six computers. You can, or four, five computers that you can hack all level one security, they've all got the same email on them. Um, but it's pretty good uh, experience. Anyway, Helle. Helly. Heel. Hail. Helle. <laughs> we'll get in contact with you. Uh, she's pretty cryptic. Um, this whole mission's a bit weird, to be honest. Mostly because I don't really remember Human Revolution that well. Um, I did want to go back and play it, but then never got the time. Anyway, uh, use the messenger on the computer, talk to her, exhaust all the uh, conversation options, and you will be asked to go and get a uh, package. Now this is at the points of interest, every little counts, which you may have uncovered previously. Go through here and you can punch a hole in the wall directly ahead of you, you can jump across this electricity and flip the breaker on the far side and open that door that way, but you want to jump in the vent either way. There's another way in that we'll have a look at at the end, but there's three guys in here. If you're quick and use ghost, you can rush up to the two standing together. I was a little too slow. Um, but you can get a double takedown on those guys pretty easily there. Unfortunately, they split up now. Um, but they do get back together here. You can still get a double takedown, but I blew it by yourself, waiting for them to line up. Uh, that guy fiddling with the keypad won't actually worry. Um, but it's very important that you, well, it's not very important that you take them down. Um, but one of them has a pocket secretary on it, which is going to make the next section much, much easier. So grab that and read it. Uh, it's Red Retrieval, Retire Walker from the Editorial Desk. And it says, Walker's asking too many questions, take him out. Uh, if you don't want to take them out nicely, you can just wait, uh, use Ghost and flip the breaker, which I'll show you here. I'm just moving the body so I don't kill anyone, but flip that breaker and they'll all die. Um, now this is quite a rough hack, it's level 5, um, so get ready for multi-tooling. The code might be somewhere, I'm not exactly sure, actually. Uh, but there's a stop worm and a breach software in there. Anyway, in here is the memory disk and some crafting parts, so grab those to close off the next part of the mission. 200 ghosts, 750 completionist for that. Yay! This is the other way in. Uh, if you're at the front of the building here, you can just jump up onto that roof and through if you've got jumpy legs, which presumably you should do by now. And then well into Prague 2. I should have mentioned this one's only available in Prague 2, sorry. Uh, in the night time, so we get back on Gollum City. Anyway, Eliza will ch uh, Hele, rather, will chime in. Um, I just blew the spoiler, uh, And she'll chatter for a little bit. You can hack some of the police cars, but they might get suspicious, so be careful of that. When you're done, travel back to Northern Prague, and you're going to go to Future Past. Um, notice that it's Future Past Antiki, which presumably is uh, Czech for antiques. Uh, Czechia, I think they call it now, right? Anyway, um, you can have a chat with this chap. This is actually Walker. Uh, you can continue to talk to him. I'd recommend avoiding the aggressive option. He's got the name of the place wrong. He keeps calling it Future Last. It's Future Past. Uh, he also mentions another customer. You can explore some of those options. And eventually, if you've got the Casey mod, uh, a trigger will pop up. Um, you want to pick Alpha, Suspect Clark there. Um, he's trying to send you down into the basement, basically. You don't want to go there. There's a terrible, terrible trap, um, and he'll lock you in. But if you use the Casey mod, uh, you can then uh, get some experience and talk about some other bits and pieces. I spoke about employer, but I'm pretty sure on my test playthrough I picked something else. Either way, it will end up at this. Now, if you had the... Um, the palm top thing from the previous, the pocket secretary from the previous bit where we got ghost, uh, you can choose the bottom option and that will tell you that, well you'll tell him about the, wow, sorry for the yawn, he'll tell you about the pocket secretary. 
Uh, you'll tell him about the pocket secretary and how they plan to kill him, and he'll give up nicely. He'll also give you. Uh, you can tell him to walk away as well in 750 completion. If you say don't move, you'll have to get into a fight, which is a little bit boring. Um, but you can still knock him out afterwards. He's got a pocket secretary on it. He calls. Um, he goes into a bit more detail. He says it's related to Panchea, um, but you'll find some of that out later. Anyway, I knocked him out to see what he had on him. He's got a pocket secretary. Which doesn't say much that's useful uh, there. Everett says you're the only one he can trust right now. Diddle -diddle -diddle -diddle. We suspect you know what's on the disc by now. You know who Helly is and you know what she means to Everett. What her freedom and exposure mean to all of us. Get it done. Anyway, I reloaded and let him walk away. Uh, then head into the basement. You'll see the trap down here. Uh, there's a body. And if you didn't uh, end this peacefully or did go down into the basement, you'll have to disarm all those bombs. Don't miss the companion cube. Nice little Easter egg there. And there's a 300 bonus. If you flip that clock, you can push the button to unlock the door without having to hack it. Um, alternatively, you can hack it the first time for a reward of experience, and then you can push the button and just keep hacking it for the treasures in the data store indefinitely. But it's quite a tough hack, so you're probably going to lose... Oh, sorry. You're probably going to lose um, more than you gain by doing that. Not really worth it. But in there, there's a credit chip and not much else. Anyway, when you are ready, travel to Prezaska. Pregaska? Pregaska? I don't know. I should really listen to these guys. Uh, and back to your apartment, Southern Prague. Anyway, don't forget to visit Tars. He's got a Praxis kit if you haven't already picked it up, a new one in Prague too. And then head to your apartment and put the memory disk in the reader. Uh, the computer will come on and Heli will appear. You'll have a bunch of options to speak to her. Um, I tried a few of them. It doesn't really seem to make that much difference where you go with it. Um, she'll reveal herself to be Eliza very shortly. And it turns out she was one of the women in the Hyron project, whatever that was. Like I said, I should have replayed Human Revolution. Or at least made some sort of effort to read up on all this stuff before uh, I did this video, right? I'm sorry, that's very poor behaviour. <laughs> anyway, sure there she is. Uh, when you exhaust all the conversation yeah. options, she will uh, warn you. It's men broken are still following us. That's what best they defends you now. Uh, she said you'd be safe, but there's four guys coming in. Now, two of them, if you've got double takedown, can be taken down very easily. Uh, they come in through here, and in fact, you don't even have to hide behind that door. I messed up the first time because I wanted to um, maximize efficiency. So here is the best way i found to do this. Um, wait for them to come in here, use Ghost when they walk in, and you'll be able to get a multiple takedown on them right by the door there. Do that, and then uh, you can grab a pocket secretary and read that. All of them have the same secretary, so there's not much to read. Everett's getting impatient if one of your men did in fact manage to blah, 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 blah. Um, get it done. Anyway, uh, crouch and head down these stairs as quickly as possible while crouched. You'll come to these guys here just by the vent. You can get a double takedown out of view of any civilians and policemen, um, which is the most efficient way to do it. You can, of course, let them see you, but then you won't get foxiest of the Hound's achievement, if that's what you're going for. Um, and they'll start a firefight, and the police and Tarz's dudes will take them out. Eliza will then chip in again. Um, I also decided it might be wise to hide the bodies, because the police sometimes patrol around there. Um, so I just put them in this nearby apartment. You could also risk just tossing them up into the vent, although it might take a long time to do it. I put a crazy cat in this house. And then shut the door behind me. Anyway, that's that mission on the left. Uh, checking out the men in charge, that's uh, story mission 9. And uh, fade to black, which I think is side mission 9, maybe. I'm actually gonna, uh, I've got no easy way of checking, unfortunately. Um, anyway, that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye!